Why are Valorant skins so expensive? Some Valorant skins can reach up to 2675 BP, like the limited edition Champion Vandals. The most expensive knife is the RES Fist, which is around 5950 BP. The most expensive bundle, also RES, is about 11900 BP. Just to put this into perspective, this means that for a single bundle, you are paying about $120, and a single bundle would have skins for 4 different weapons and a knife. This game has 17 weapons, so it's easy to see how people can spend upwards of $500 on a single game. Here is why they are so expensive. Number 1. Production and Design Valorant skins aren't just free colors. They often include completely new models, intricate designs, unique animations, special sound effects, and even changes to the user interface for certain weapons. Creating these skins often involves a team of skilled designers, artists, and developers, which means a lot of time and resources go into making each one. This level of detail and effort contributes to the higher cost. The higher end Valorant skins clearly have some thought put into them. For example, the collab with Ned makes the Spectrum bundle sound really satisfying. The detail and effects of the Elder Flame Vandal or the Ignite Fan are insane. You really don't see anything like these skins in any other game. Riot is truly the best of the best when it comes to these things. Now, is the Ignite Fan worth $50? Probably not. But people are still going to pay this for its cool effects due to the next few reasons. Number 2. Market Demand and Rarity Valorant has a large and active community. Skins are a major part of this game's appeal, allowing players to personalize their experience and express themselves in the game. Because there's a strong demand for unique and visually appearing skins, Riot can price them higher, especially for skins that offer something extra special in terms of design and features. If you buy a Prime Vandal or something, everyone's gonna come asking you for it, or praise you. This pushes you to buy more expensive skins. Some skins are designed to be rare or are available for a limited time. The scarcity increased their value among players. The idea is similar to limited items in the real world where scarcity and exclusivity drive the demand and price up, even in the black markets of Valorant like in player auctions or something. Limited skins such as the Arcane Sheriff or the Champion Bundle could just be a regular skin. Since it's limited, people are just willing to buy them despite the prices. This lets Riot charge more. Even if there was a $100 limited knife skin that was simply just the regular default knife but white, people would still buy it just because it's rare. Finally, this is because of Riot's monetization strategy. Since Valorant is free to play, Riot Games does not make any money selling the game itself. Instead, they rely on in-game purchases like skins to fund their operations. This model means that they need to price skins in a way that supports the infrastructure of the game, including servers, updates, and new content development. In sum, the higher cost of Valorant skins is influenced by their quality and uniqueness. The game's free to play model, player demand, and status symbols. These are why Valorant skins are so expensive. For example, if you were to play Fortnite, having a good skin in Fortnite is just doesn't feel as premium as having a good skin in Valorant. In Valorant, you're almost always just looking at your skin, whether it's inspecting it, just looking at the effects. While in Fortnite, they don't have nearly as much detail as, for example, the effects of inspecting your knife skin. And this is why Valorant just charges so much. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.